talking to you. It's Monday again. <laughs> another week is done, another week is starting. How are we all doing? So what we were going to do today, we can't. So I have decided, <laughs> I was going to play with this anyway this week, is to do the beaded candle holders again. We have done them in the past. We've done them in various different colors. I'm going to show you all the... Oh, oh, let's just move the mic back. I'm going to show you all the different um, variations. Um, we got plenty on the website. They are perfect decorations for your table, for your mantelpiece, wherever you would like to put it. I just love doing using my jewelry making skills for home decor. Um, I really, you know, there is so much you could do and um, just really just jazz up the home as well, not just like for jewellery. I love, I love all sorts of different things to make with them. Right, okay, so I am very, very quickly going to take you to the website and then I'm going to show you some of the samples I have here. Um, I love, I absolutely adore and love these because every single Christmas, like to put something new or like not even just Christmas during the year as well, because we've done other colors as well, put something new on the table. Just, it's just really nice to do, to have something, have something festive or a different color. Right. Okay. So let's pop to the website very quickly. So by now. You know the drill. You're going to go on totallybeats.co.uk. You're going to go into video tutorials. And here is today's one, which is the candle holder kit. Now, we have got, <laughs> Simon has given us some of them um, a little bit more, some of them a little bit less, but they are up to 40% off on the kids, no, no, not 40, it's like 35% off. Get my percentage right, it's Monday morning, come on, maths, <laughs> mental maths on Monday morning, it's not, not, not a good um, combination. So we have got the, and actually I can, I'll, let's, let's do the Christmas one, I'm gonna demo with the Christmas colors because I just love the, um, I just love the uh, um, love the Christmas colors and Christmas is always around the corner. So um, we got loads of different colors. We got forest green, gleaming gold. We got hematite gray, lime green, mauve. We have got a rosewood and we got sugar cookie. So do go do go and have check out on our website totallybeats.co.uk and um, the, all the colors are there. Right, I'm gonna come back to myself and then we can go down onto the table. And I can show you all of these lovely samples. You can make all sorts of different colors. I love, and I'm, I'm just going to turn this down. Oh, no, no, no. What, what's happening? We lost. Mm. <laughs> I just turned the camera on and off. We lost the camera number two. Let's have a look. I'm gonna um, until it comes back online. I'm gonna say hello to goody. Good good evening. I need a bit of my coffee. I think. Good morning. <laughs> good morning, Helen, Lucy, Sue, Lorna, Sheila, Bethan, and Joe, Janice, Camille. Kimberly saying it's cold there in Wiltshire. I haven't been outside, but it doesn't look very warm here either. It looks pretty much overcast and a bit rainy. Good morning, Ruth, Isla, Robin, D, Annie, GT, Carol, Gwen, Mina, Angela. Oh, there's so many of you lovelies are here. Morning, Asher, Pauline. Right, okay, so let's try this again. Are we going to have the table? No. Why? What's happening? Right, okay, give me one second. I am going to go and unplug and plug it back in, and hopefully that will fix it. Troubleshooting on life here. <laughs> it was working good, yeah. Right, so that's that, that's that. We oh, yeah, have got no light on this. Where is those cable goes? That's coming, coming into here. So while you're waiting, let me know in the comments, like what you've been up to, what you've been doing. Oh, I think. No, that's right. 
unplug these. I have got a signal going in there and my capture card says no. It was working yesterday and today is not uh, playing. Okay, so what we are going to do is I am... It's not coming up. Okay, no problem. What I'm going to do... I'm going to unplug my main camera and change it with that one because it's more important for you to see. There we go. There we go. So you won't be able to see me, but you will be able to see the beads. I just unplugged one and plugged the other one back in. So we're good to go. It doesn't matter. You can't see my face. What 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 matters that you see the lovely beads? I'll just zoom in a little bit more. So, I love, I really absolutely love and adore these. Um, you can take the tea lights out, you can put them back in. And um, the year after year, you can reuse these lovely, and you can do them in all sorts of different colors. I love these sparkly candles as well. And tea lights are so cheap these days. I don't know, I think the last time I picked up 100 for like two pound in B&Q. So you can reuse them over and over again. But you can do them in any color you like, really. Right, so let's get started. So I'm going to demo with the Christmas one, just, just because it's June. Let's demo with the Christmas one. And um, I could do, because I usually make these a little Christmas presents for people as well. Because they don't take too long to make up. So in your kit, they're going to be these lovely crystal beads so these are like six millimeter crystal beads and um, they're like a little bit of like a soccer ball shape they're not perfect rounds and I'm going to zoom in I'm going to have to manually zoom in there we go and actually I need to flip the screen as well there we go we are right now <laughs> so you're gonna have these lovely oh Monday mornings, eh? <laughs> Who doesn't love Monday mornings? You're going to have your pros and then you're going to have your lovely seed beads in there as well. So this project takes quite a lot of thread. So do like, I'd, I'd love to start with as much as I can. I'm just going to pop some beads onto here, which I bought the big bag home. Do try to start with as much as you can. And then I do love to leave the bobbin on as well so we can continue the other way. Right, so I'm just going to grab my thread and, and put it. I just had it here. Where did it go, thread? Oh, there we are. I'm just grab my thread and I'm going to add a needle onto the end of it. And we're going to start to making. Oh, Lucy's saying that's better. You're not upside down anymore. You know, Monday mornings we're just troubleshooting. But um, at least it works this way. So I'm going to grab the cables out after the live. And it was working yesterday. So I don't know. I'm not sure why is it's the capture card, which is not playing ball this morning. But never mind. Never mind. Right, so I'm going to take as much as I can, as I'm comfortable to work with, which is probably like a really good couple of arm spans. I'm going to put the pearls to the side just for one sec, and we're going to start with these beautiful crystal beads. There we go. I probably need more than one strand. You get 10 strands in the kit. So it will, it will, it depends on what size. Oh, I haven't even showed you the big one yet. It depends what size of candle holder you're going to do because you can do smaller ones or larger ones. If you're doing the smaller one, which is like this, it's not smaller. This is the normal size of candle, the tea lights. But lately in the shops, you can buy like really large candles as well. So you can. The same pattern we work for larger candles as well, candle tea lights done 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 the normal size as well. So you just you have to make it bigger, but they look 
they look really good very very forgiving right so we're going to start off and we're going to need some of the seed beads we're going to make an inner band for our tea light here and we're going to use a technique called right angle weave so i'm going to start off by i'm going to pick up one of these crystal beads i'm going to pick up two seed beads another crystal bead another two seed bead oops and <laughs> you ping it on i'm ping it all around the room <laughs> oh bless monday's eye so i'm taking these all the way down there we go so i started with a crystal and i finished with two i'm going to zoom in a little bit more I finished with two seed beads and I'm going to turn this into a complete circle. So I'm going to go from my tail end and take my thread all the way through all of the beads. Then he's saying I couldn't find the big ones, only the small ones. Is that for the tea lights? I got quite a few of them from Range and in the Range they do these really nice sparkly ones. Um, they do do it, like last year maybe it was a little bit different because they were struggling to get stock for a lot of things, like a lot of shops were struggling to get stock. But I think this year we should be back. So I went all the way around and then I'm going to come through, and actually I'm going to go to the other side so I can hold on to it nicely and tightly. So I went around once already and I'm just going to take myself through the next few beads until I come out one of these crystal beads. Let's give a little bit more light as well here. There we go. It's just because a different setting, so a different camera. And from here we're gonna repeat what, like what we're doing. So we're gonna make little circles all the way around. But we already have partial, like we already have this crystal here. So we're going to start with two seed beads, we're going to pick up a crystal, another two seed beads, another crystal, another two seed beads, another crystal, and another two seed beads. So you need to have four times two seed beads and three crystals. Simon just texted me, sound is really quiet, so let me just mute the microphone again. Anything which could go wrong to this morning is going wrong. Right, let me just have a look. Is that any better now that I moved the microphone? Do let me know. If any time anything is quiet or anything is, is, is doesn't... Um... Oh, hold on. We are on the wrong microphone. That's why. Sound check one, two, three. Can you hear me better now? Please let me know in the comments. I changed the source of my microphone. Is the sound is coming better and louder and clearer to you? Do let me know. <laughs> Much better. They'll be saying, I believe you. Definitely a coffee morning for you. Absolutely. Right, so. Oh, Simon is just texting me, he's just saying, yes, it's better. So, I got two seed beads crystal, two seed beads crystal, two seed beads crystal, two seed beads, three crystals in total, four times two seed beads. And I'm going to go through this crystal what I came through before, exactly the same up from the other end. So, when I pull this up, it's just going to form a nice little circle there. Then I'm going to turn this. And I'm going to go through the next two seed bead crystal. And the next two seed beads and crystal. Just like that. And then I'm going to repeat this again. And all the way along until I have got 12 little squares so again i'm exiting out on the top side so i'm going to come from the bottom pull this up nice and tight then i'm going to go along and carry on just like that 
all the way around. Another two seed beads crystals. Another two seed bead crystal. Another two seed bead. Taking this all the way down. I'm going to come through that crystal again. And again, I'm going to get to the furthest away from my tail and add more and more beads. There we go. Another crystal. Another two seed beads. Another crystal. Until I got three crystals and four times two seed beads. And I'm going to loop around again. There we go. And keep going. Good morning, everybody. I'm Shani Singh. I'm loud and clear now. That's good. Oh, all these things. I don't know. I reckon at nine time there is this little, <laughs> I don't know. So little gremlins come out and um, they play havoc on my computer and then change the settings. And we're going up. And pulling it out. So do stop time to time and you can measure it around your candle as well. There's all sorts of different patterns you can do. You can adjust the numbers of seed beads. You could add three instead of three to make larger um, squares. You could do without the seed beads for your base square and then add more seed beads just on the top and the bottom of it it's really a sub to you there is so many different on on long as you follow the sort of the base step of it which actually this one is going to be slightly a little bit different what we did before because before we just had the crystals we didn't have the seed beads and i'm at the end Ooh the top of my bag I think I need one or two more so depending on what sort of materials you have available you will use more seed beads if you got more seed beads you will use more crystals if you got more crystals we're just gonna run all the way down there we go just take this out of the way a little bit Computer gremlins. I think I got one living in my computer too. Lucy's saying, Kimani is saying, not many, not many comments, or am I in the wrong place again? So I'm live on Kitty Robbins Sundia Designs. I'm live on Totally Beads, YouTube, and um, Facebook as well. So depending on where you are, you will see the comments. Right, so now we got all the way around and you can see by adding the seed beads in, we're going to have like, we're going to need less crystals to run around our candle. And I'm going to join up the end and a beginning now to form a, a, like a sleeve like little ring. So as I'm coming out of this crystal, I'm going to pick up two seed beads and I'm going to go into the crystal just here. Then I'm going to pick up another two, not just two seed beads, we need a crystal in between. 
Monday morning, I'm telling you. <laughs> I should skip Monday mornings. Could you make it wider to go around the candle in the class? Absolutely. you got so many different options. So two seed beads, crystal two seed beads. Come down to the crystal here. And then pick up another two seed bead crystal, another two seed bead. And go up to the crystal just there. So just joining the end and the beginning together. And I'm going to go around this. Doesn't matter which way. I just want to get to the top. I'm going to leave my tail end facing towards the bottom because you're going to add more on there. And I'm coming up to the top. So when you get the kit, there will be, you can make about eight co candle holder coverlings. There we go. And that fits on quite nicely. And I'll just get the tail out of the way. So you could just make something like this to go around the candle. We're going to go around and tighten up this on the top just now. And then we're going to go and add more to the words the bottom. But what I love about this, you can have as much or as as less to your candles so like if i was just gonna make this and i, I didn't want to go any further and i don't want to add on any skirt or anything onto it then i would do it just like this with the seed beads already on there because it just gives that bit more of a decoration if i want to make it and i'm going to show you the inside of this one hopefully and let's let's actually look at a green one so we're looking at the same color if i'm going to add more layers can you see there is less seed beads the inside of this one and more of a the pattern what comes with the kits is going to be this one but um, i just wanted to do something different today and um it's going to be more like they will be tighter together so it's really like it's up to you like how much and and what you want to do so let's run around to the top when i'm running around to the top i always like to hold on to and i like to insert a candle in there and i usually i just have i got a plain one usually at this stage i just use a plain one i'm going to pop this plain one in there because i don't want to get the glitter all over my hand probably it's on it's on there already <laughs> I'm slightly allergic to glitter, so I have to be careful with it. So I just use a plain candle and you can use the same plain candle over and over again and keep your good ones for later on because as you're pushing and holding it, you are going to be you are going to be doing all sorts of different things. So I'm just gonna run around the top here and I'm sewing all these beads together. So in this this time I'm sewing the four seed beads. The crystals for seed beads all the way around, just skimming over the top of it, going all the way around, straightening all those beads up. Now, if you follow the pattern, which is, comes with the kit, then it will tell you to add the seed beads in now. All right, just going to go all the way around. The crystals are six millimeter. These are the ones what comes in the kit. They're not quite round ones. They're a little bit like a soccer ball shape. Just gonna pull this up, and as I'm going around, I'm just pulling it tighter and tighter. Make sure you go through the four seed beads. And then when we get to the end, we will decide if you want to decorate this further or we're going to leave it just like this. You got the six millimeter crystals, you got eight millimeter pearls. There's 10 strands of these six millimeter crystals in your kit. So, and it becomes a really good value. Two strands of the pearls and you get a large bag of seed beads in there. There we go. And we are just going round and round. 
Right, so I got around once already, but I'm going to go past myself and just do, I like to do maybe another round or even just another half a round. And as I'm going, I'm pulling it tighter and tighter. The first round when you go, it's going to sit your beads straight. And the second round when you do, it's going to pull it tighter. But at the end, if I got thread left over, I often pop back to the top and just go around a few more times. The more you go around it, the more your shape, your beaded shape is going to be more stiff, and more round like. If the less you go around, it's gonna be more floppy. There we go. I don't wanna do it too tight because then I won't be able to get the candle out. If you got to this stage like when you join your end and beginning together and your it's slightly too small then you could always add an extra seed beads in between the four seed beads so i would come out of the two pick up an extra one and go through the next two and that will force it to open up a little bit more and make your beadwork a little bit bigger right i think we are good now I don't know how many times I've entered. I keep, keep going around and talking <laughs> and I forget what I'm doing. Right, so we got a nice little band. So I could just leave it like this. Now we could add more crystals onto the top of this. We could add pearls onto the top of it. We could really do whatever we like. I kind of like after, if you don't want to leave it just like this to make a little skirt and we're going to do exactly the same what we did at the top but we're going to make these loops larger so they're going to open up the cir the circumference of the the end of the next loop is have to be bigger than the one we have in the middle here so because we already made we have got more seed beads in here when i go down i can add two crystals instead of just one making the loops larger and making to making your candle quicker as well because like here we use have to just to put you in perspective there is 13 little squares in the middle and here we got one two three four five six seven eight so this one is gonna be this design is going to be a third quicker <laughs> so you're gonna be doing this much quicker because you're doing larger loops there right so i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna do more towards the bottom so i'm gonna take my thread down i've got plenty of thread left so i'm gonna take my thread down but equally if you didn't want to make that skirt and let just let's just do that for a sec so if i for example if i didn't want to make that skirt but for example i want to fill these gaps in what you would do, I would come down through the crystal when I'm crossing from top to the bottom. And then I would fill this gap up with something. So we could do so many different designs on here. Let me just grab some of the pearls. And just pop some there. So we could do so many different designs here and you could really like, you know, make up your own little patterns as well. So as I'm coming out of this crystal or I could like either uh, like come out from the seed bead as well. But as I'm coming out of the crystal, I want to add if I'm not going to add a skirt at the bottom, I, I want to add one pearl or a couple of pearls here just to sit on the top. I think a couple will be. A couple will be let's just have a look if I have I usually pick it up and just try them on there I think that would look really nice and we will straighten these out so they will sit straight later on so I'm gonna pick up two seed beads I'm gonna pick up a pearl I'm gonna pick up one seed bead I'm gonna pick up another pearl and another two seed beads as and I'm coming down on the bottom, I'm going to take my needle straight over and come down. So I'm going across, come down through the next section and pull this up nice and tight. And then we come back, we're going to centralize these. I'm going to pick up two seed beads. I'm going to pick up a pearl, one seed bead and another pearl and another two seed beads and go through the next one. 
just like that. And I'm going to do this all the way around. And then we're going to make and sit them. I'm going to need a few more beads. Going to make and to sit them nice and straight. Just keep that tail out of the way. And there we go. And I'm just going to keep continue doing the same pattern, picking up two seed beads. Then one seed bead, then another pearl, and another two seed beads. So by doing, it's going to give you a very similar look. The pattern we're doing here is slightly different from what we've done before. And even like, even if they're slanted, I think they look quite nice, but we're going to straighten them up. So there's so many different options you have when you're doing even the same thing. Another two, and I'm going to come down here. So making a candle holder with the pattern what comes in the kit, it's probably going to take you about an hour. And I reckon if you like make your squares, your base squares bigger, like I did here, then it's significantly going to reduce that time. So probably going to get it done in maybe about 35, 40 minutes. But try both of them. Try, try, and then try to do your own spin on it as well. I think that looks quite nice as well that they're sitting slanted, to be honest. Try your own version as well, like add a bead or take away a bead. Just experiment. Because that's all what, I guess, bead work about is, is just experimenting. Kimberly Singh looks nice slanted as well. So now you're going to have, well, yeah, I think so too. I could have even added like more pros and make bigger loops. So many different things you could do. Even if like, I, I reckon like and one day I'm definitely going to do a challenge, something like that, that give, I don't know, maybe 50 people the same beat back and see what they come up with because I'm sure all 50 of them will come up with different things. So you want one day when I find a time traveler <laughs> and I can go back every day and have an extra 10 hours. And there we go. And I'm just coming through this. And then I'm going to come through the last one. And picking up my last two. Yeah, I kind of like that. I, I do like slanted. Actually, just looking at it, it looks really nice like that as well. So I'm just coming through, which is the very first one I came through. It looks nice like this as well. What I would like to do now is to straighten these up. So as I'm coming down, I need to come around. So I'm going to turn this, go along the bottom. And don't forget we haven't pulled the bottom together yet. So that's a little bit, still a bit bigger than the top. And then I'm going to cross to the top, just like that. And now I'm going to pick up two seed beads. And I'm going to go through the pearl, seed bead, pearl. I'm going to pick up another two seed beads and now I'm going to come, we went from top to bottom and this time I'm going to come from bottom to top. And when I pull this up, can you see that? <laughs> Let's just get this out of the way. I'm just trying to sort of pull it tight. Can you see that like slightly turning? And when we go all the way around, they all of them are going to turn just like that. One, two, and then going through this. Pearl, seed bead, pearl. Another two seed beads. And again, we're going to come from bottom to top. There we go. Picking up another two seed beads. And they are turning. So if I turn it up, you can see they are turning. You have put two seed beads in between one of them. Oh no, well yes I did, the last one, didn't I? 
Okay, so let me just go into this and we're going to deal with that. So there is a trick what you can do to get rid of an extra seed beads if you have got an extra seed beads. And I just used to use my pliers and then it was, I don't know, I can't remember the lady's name, but it was one of you who pointed it out to put your needle into the bead when you're cracking it um, with your pliers to protect the thread path itself. So let me just come around a little bit and then we're going to crack that bead and I'll show you how you can get rid of if you got an extra seed. But thank you so much for letting me know, Carol. You know, you you lot, you need to keep me straight, especially on Mondays. You need to keep me extra straight then on Mondays. I don't know what is it about Mondays and I don't know what is it about the weekend. Like on the weekend, I, I really would like to have a sleep in, but I'm usually up like six seven o'clock i'm up and awake and i can't go to sleep monday comes like today i woke up at 10 to 8 i think it was and i could have easily gone back to sleep for <laughs> not a couple of hours at least um if you wanted them slanted you know he's asking would you just keep this step yes absolutely you could just keep this step all right I'm almost there and then we're gonna crack that bead oh and I might even put crystal in between them so you kind of can see that that from oh hold on yes that's right I need to pick up to you kind of can see that like kind of following the pattern but putting a little bit of a twist on it like I did on here you can create different different things right let me just pull this around come through that last pearl and then i'm going to pick up the two seed beads come up and we're going to deal with those that rogue seed beads <laughs> which is in between that pearl i mean i could just leave it on but i am not going to so actually in hindsight we should have dealt with it before because if i do cut the thread then i'm gonna to have to put this on so if you are in the chat who have um, suggested this to me, then do let me know if it was you because I think, I don't know, I don't know who it was, but a uh, very clever lady. So put your needle in the seed bead, what you're going to crack, and I'm going to crack this one. So I'm going to put the needle in there. The needle is just going to protect my, my thread. So when I come in with the pliers and I crush this, the needle will stop me to crush the thread itself as well it's not a guarantee and i'm going to just put my hand over this as i'm crushing it because i don't want any of the seed bead to fly up into my eye there we go is it or is it just no it just came down yes there we go so you can see the seed bead is broken and now we have Got one seed bead where we had two. It was this one, wasn't it? You can't even see which one was it. Right, let me just get rid of this glass shards here with my little roller. But that's how you would get. So if you got an extra seed bead where you shouldn't have had a seed bead, that's how I get rid of it, at least. It's like little tricks because sometimes like, you, do, you haven't got the time to go all the way back. And um, just get rid of all these. I don't want any of those sharpies in my hand. You can you can get rid of ends or beads or extra beads just like that. Now I'm going to continue my pattern. Oh, Lucy's saying great trick. I would have started again. Oh no, there is there is always something you can do. It's trickier to add a bead in if you missed it because that's not really going to sit right. But getting rid of beads is not bad. And I'm coming up from the bottom again. And I'm going to do the last on here. Just like, like, go to the pearls first, silly woman. Let, let me take a sip of my coffee. 
coming saying me too i would um pick my mistake um carol's saying is that just an ordinary lint roller yes absolutely i use it all the time that's one of my favorite things i guess here because like you know if like if i'm wearing a black top at the moment then all the fibers are constantly coming out of the black top and like you get bits of pieces on your bead mat and now this is a fleecy material but on your bead mat as well so i like to i like to have something like i can just very quickly clean the surface surface right okay so um let's re evaluate what we're doing so i want to sit these i'm going to go through these pearls and i either i don't know i think i'm adding an extra crystal on the in between let me just show you um, what i mean i think that's going to look really good so i'm going to go into the two seed bead i'm going to go into the pearl seed bead pearl again i mean as I said, you can stop or you can continue adding bits to it as you go along. Let's try a crystal and see how does it look. There we go. I think that look will look really good. And even if you look from above, that crystal is going to look really good in between there. So I'm going to go ahead. I could have added an extra pearl if I wanted to. But I'm going to go ahead and add a few crystals going around. There we go. So don't forget the pattern you get with the kit is the traditional pattern we had before. And we did a video on this as well quite, quite some time ago. I think maybe it was sometime before Christmas. But I just wanted to do show you different, like how you can take it further and do different bits. But I think that's going to look really pretty. Um, Carol Sink, I have one in a cupboard, never thought of using it. I have cut my hand before, now after baking, breaking a bead. Um, Linda Sink, she's going to try this. Oh, she, she's got the tea like it already. Yeah, have a look. Have, have, a, have a try and do different things. And like, you know, as I said, where you added two beads, try to add one bead or try to add three beads or do all sorts of different things. Just because... A kid comes out with a certain pattern that doesn't mean you can't do your own spin on it. There we go. There we go. We're almost all the way around and I'm running out of thread. So I'm going to have to sew this thread off after this and start a new one. Well, take more thread off the bobbin. That's why I left the bobbin on. But then equally, we could leave it just like this or take it further. I could add some something on the top there as well. Or the bottom, just giving you, this one just giving you a different shape. There we go. I think we're slightly going wavy a bit because the circumference is probably too small for all of these beads here. But I think, let me just pull this down, I think that looks really nice. I'm going to go around again, need to reinforce these, this circle one more time. And actually I'm going to sew the thread off on this as well. So I'm, as I'm going along, I'm going to throw a one thread knot here or there. We could have done by not adding the seed beads in there. And then the pearls would have sit in a different way. So perhaps try that as well when you're making it, not adding the middle seed bead. But I'm not going to go and crack them all up. I'm just going to, I'm going to do a one thread knot here. So I'm going to catch the thread path between the two beads. I didn't go through any beads there. I'm just going to pull that through and then go through that loop, which is forming. And as I'm pulling, it forms a little knot and then keep carry on through a few more beads. There we go. Just like that. Do one another one here. Because I'm running out of thread now. And then keep going. And 
there we go just take it through the next two and then i'm on a, gonna cut my end it does become a little bit frilly so as i said just don't add that seed bead and then you should be fine so again another pattern to do your candle holder and if i put the two next to each other it's going to be slightly different but we could go even more and add more beads to the top if you wanted to like you can decorate this oh this keep falling off you can decorate this as much as you like so i could add an extra one just there by coming out of maybe the first seed bead pick up the crystal and jump in and go through the the last one and that then that bead just gonna sit there covering up the thread puffs on the top let me just bring this up so you can see closer so if i added another bead which should be just escaped just on the top there just like that so you can go add and add and add as much as you want so traditional pattern comes with the kits which will make you either this size or it make you a larger size very very versatile but do play with the pattern and you could do all sorts of different things like you know if you did it did it last year did it this year this way then this year just try to experiment the method is going to be the same you're going to start with the right angle weave band which is going to be your inner circle for your tea light and that's what the tea light is going to sit into and then the outer decoration you can do all sorts of different things you can have more seed beads or you can have less seed beads it's really a sub to you what you want to do with it i think i i shouldn't have added the seed beads in between the pearls and then it would have um but then hey ho like you know the next one i make oh, i can make it differently so you can make like i don't know quite a few different candle holders with a very like different looks as well Oh, Lucy's saying thank you for showing us all the different way. Really love this. Yeah, uh, uh, because what I was going to do today, I couldn't do. So I wanted to, and I didn't just want to come and show you the same thing. We've seen that before. So I thought we'd just have a little play with it. My coffee. Yeah, some layers you use the grapevine earrings. Yeah, you, you could do uh, whatever you like. It's your design. Don't forget that once you like play with the beads, like, you know, just because I say do it this way, that doesn't mean that you have to do it this way. Play and uh, that's what I love. I love variations and I love playing with beads because they're just, you know, they're just so nice just to sit down and experiment. Oh, so saying very pretty. And just saying, Miss Toffoli, as this was working, I will need to read. So, Angela, if you missed it, we did a candle holder again. We did it slightly differently, but we did it last year. So, this is what comes with the instructions, but I showed you a different way you could experiment and have a different outcome, a different look with it. Looks like holly. Oh, yeah, like a wreath. Oh, Mina's saying beautiful. Yeah, I, I love it too. And I do make like for, for friends and family <laughs> every single year, I make a few of these. And instead of like giving them a Christmas present or something, I would give them like a candle holder or I made um, oh, very quick mistletoes. I made uh, like a mistletoe wreath for a couple of friends and I made lo loads of different bits. So um, I just really love it. I really do love it. Oh, Kerry Singh really enjoyed the impromptu, impromptu um, creation station. Yeah, I just thought like we do something a little bit. Being great gift idea, Bethany is saying. Yeah, do do something. Give. I I can't switch the camera because my other camera is dead. To, well, the the card is dead. But um, I have to go and sort that one out. So I'm gonna have to sign off with these lovelies on there. Let me just zoom out move this out of the way and just bring the other colors in do check the website out because there are a up to 35 percent discount on the kits and one will make you eight candles like this or will make you i think it makes you four of the larger ones 
so do check it out there is loads of different colors it doesn't just have to be for christmas there is purples there is all sorts of different things i just thought we played with the christmas there's one more just there in the summer so we got you could do all sorts of different things and you just take the candles out and put them back in so i hope you enjoyed today's demo like there was something a little bit different and i will see you on wednesday have a lovely day everybody do check out the website do check out the kids and um i'll be back on wednesday i, I have, a, have a have a lovely day it looks like it's gonna rain so it's the perfect day to stay in and just feed bye everybody